Okay, so you've heard about the mysterious Baghdad battery, right? What is it? Who made it? And what was it used for? Well, here's one theory. In 1938, German archaeologist Wilhelm Koenig was excavating a site near Baghdad when his team uncovered a strange object. It was a small clay jar with a copper cylinder and iron rod inside. It looked nothing like the pottery the locals were using. What was this strange object and what was it doing in an ancient archaeological site? Well, researchers soon came up with a daring theory. Maybe it was some kind of ancient battery. You see, the jar looks a bit like a container for a modern battery. And if you fill it with an acidic liquid like vinegar or lemon juice, which would have been available to ancient cultures, then the copper and iron inside would generate a small amount of electricity. This could mean that ancient people had invented the battery over 1,800 years before modern scientists did. But wait a minute. Why would ancient people need electricity? There are lots of theories about this, too. Some say it was used to power electroplating to make jewelry. Others say it had religious or medicinal purposes. But no one knows for sure because we haven't found any wires or any clear evidence of how or even if it was used. That's why many scholars argue that it wasn't a battery at all, just a storage vessel or a way to hold scrolls. But the Baghdad battery isn't just some museum oddity. We actually have replicas that can produce enough voltage to run small electrical devices. But again, that doesn't prove that ancient people used it that way. Maybe we're just seeing what we want to see. So for now, the Baghdad battery remains a mystery. What do you think it was? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to check out the series in the description. Thanks. See you next time.